What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Sky Jordan. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about things you cannot use in Pro Tools first. I know a lot of people have downloaded Pro Tools first and they probably wanna know what they can actually do with this. Can they actually buy plugins and use it here, templates and all this other shit? And we're gonna talk about it right now. So look at the screen. On the screen, I'm gonna just run through it real quick. You're gonna see one thing. There are a set of plugins that you can actually use in Pro Tools first. And those are the Isotope Elements plugins, as you can see, we have Nectar 3 Elements. So this is like one of the plugins that you can actually use in here. So Isotope Elements, those bundles, you can actually use those in Pro Tools first. All right. So, but what you cannot use in Pro Tools first, you're not going to be able to use all of the stock plugins from Pro Tools. Right, you're limited to the shit that you use in here. Like you got the D-verb, you got the Mind 3 Delay, Time Adjuster. You don't have the harmonics there, no noise reduction for stock. Um, you got this, the instruments, effects. You really don't have no stock effects in here because you just got Nectar 3 because that's what I have, you know, because I got the Elements Bundle. So the second things you cannot use in Pro Tools first are third-party plugins. All right, this goes for any auto-tune plugin whatsoever, any free fucking auto-tune plugin or any other free auto-tune or just free plugins out there. Like, you cannot use them. Like, you can't use Voloco in here. You can't use M Auto Pitch in here. Auto Tune Pro, Ways Tune Real Time. You can't use nothing in here as far as Auto Tune wise. And it's like that on purpose because you would have to buy the subscription or actually buy Pro Tools. Um, another thing you cannot use No Ways plugins. None whatsoever. No Ways plugins. No, not even like the basic version because the Ways don't even have a basic version. You can't use Slate. You can't use Sound Toys. You can't use. What am I don't even know. Like you just can't use nobody. <laughs> you can't use nobody but Isotope Elements. That that is it. That's all you can use in Pro Tools first, besides the stock plugins. If there is a plugin that you can actually use in here, let me know. Because from what I've known, what I've seen, what I've heard, you cannot use nothing. Like nothing. I was surprised I could actually use elements in here. The third thing that you cannot use in here is templates. So if you buy the Trap Guide template, buy any Wave Monopoly templates, any Wavy Wayne that had me divine templates for Pro Tools, you cannot use those in Pro Tools first. I'm going to just go ahead and tell you right now. So if you bought those templates and you think you can get a free version of Pro Tools and use those, you can't do it. Like, you not, it's not even going to open. <laughs> like, it's, it's not even going to open. Trust me. The only way you can actually use a Pro Tools First template is if the shit was made with Pro Tools First. And if it was made with Pro Tools First, it's not going to have Waves Tone, Red Time. It's not going to have Auto Tone, no type of other plugins. But just what you can get with on Pro Tools First. And the thing about it is, like, Nectar 3 actually has a pitch correction. But the Elements version of it, <laughs> like, shit don't exist. Like, it shit don't exist, man. Like, you're getting a basic version of all this shit, man. You know? So, that's just so many things you need to be aware of, all right? So, we're going to do a recap, all right? You cannot use all of the stock Pro Tools plugins. They're limited in here. You cannot use any third-party plugins besides Isotope Elements, all right? That's the only exception. But no ways... No sound toys, no auto tune, no free plugins that you get for free, no crack plugins, no nothing. Like you cannot use none of that shit. Um, templates, presets, you cannot use those unless, unless they were made with Pro Tools first, and they actually have the plugins in here that you can actually use. Because like you can actually recall like presets, right? So you could save presets, but. But, like, I'm telling you, you got to have the plugins. And this really doesn't have all the plugins. That's just what it is. You might be able to use plugins if you buy them from the Avid Marketplace. But I'm thinking that's probably the only way to actually let you use a plugin in here is if you buy it from the Marketplace. Um, but, yeah. So, that's just some of the things you need to be aware of when you download Pro Tools first or any free version of any DAW. That's what you're going to run into because you're going to be limited. Um, I know like Studio One will let you buy like a like a addition or some shit to be able to use third-party plugins in there. Pro Tools, I don't think they offer something like that. They're just going to make you have to get the subscription for the actual Pro Tools so you'll be able to use your third-party plugins and the templates and all that other shit. But listen, make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the channel. It's your boy Sky Jordan. I'm out of here. I right, cool.
Cool. <laughs>